Hi, this video deals with the simulation training for the classic Z T, how the incisions are made and how to transpose the flaps after raising the flaps. The classic Z T. Now we are going to see the classic Z T before we go on to the other variations. The first thing is the classic Z consists of two triangular skin flaps of equal size delimited by three incisions of equal length. Now this is the contracture angle AB and these are the two angles of 60 degrees which, which form the classic Z plus T. Now we will measure the contracture angle. It comes to around 5 centimeters. So now we will do the classic Z on 5 centimeter contracture angle and see how much of lengthening you can get with this. Now we have we are going to have two angles of 60 degrees. From each end you are going to mark at 60 degree angle 5 centimeter lines from A the line is going to be AD and from B it is going to be CB. The incisions are made down to the subcutaneous tissue so that this flap which is going to be a random pattern flap in real life is going to survive. The two flaps are raised now. Once the two flaps are raised, you can see they are able to transpose. This transposition is going to cause a few changes in the tissues. The scar that is the contracture length of AB and the surrounding tissues. Once you transpose them, you need to suture the flaps. Here since we are not able to put a, a three point stitch being sponge which is not holding the uh, three point sub, uh, subdermal suture. But generally in tissues in clinical practice we use three point stitches of the angle to secure the angle. Just apply the stitch there at that point after the flaps have transposed. You can make out now that after the transposition there is a break in the line of AB. Now this break in the line of AB is going to change the direction of the scar and the orientation of the scar which is one of the effects of the Z plasty. The first effect was lengthening of the contracture length of AB. We will measure that. Now the second flap is also being sutured and the the angular suture, the three point stitch should be put in at this point. Just put in another stitch on the side to secure the flap. Yes. Now we need to see the measure the length. Now we have done the suturing. Just measure the length. What we had as 5 centimeters, we measure it now and we find it is 8 centimeters. We know that for a 60 degree angle, there will be a 75 percent increase. I hope you liked the video. Click on these links to see more videos about local flaps. These series on local flaps discuss all the local flaps possible in reconstructive surgery starting from the transposition flap, rotation flap, Z plus T, advancement flaps and more. And do subscribe to keep updated on the latest in learning hand surgery.